need to pause. All right, I'm gonna try to do this video in like 20 minutes because I think my videos have gotten a little bit longer and I'm gonna put my internal clock on fuck you. So, wallpaper available in the description, check out the Patreon, subscribe star. These are the Stellias and this is the Liquid Platinum. And uh, Monolith makes it. And if you remember my Liquid Spark review, I put that head to head with the air, with the Aerial Atom. Wow, with the JDS Labs Atom. Because it was a small, well built, nearly a hundred dollars. I think it was a little more than a hundred dollars, like a hundred and thirty. Like headphone amp, and it was warm and it was nice. And I never got a chance to play with its big brother. And this is its big brother, also de de ugh, designed by Alex uh, Cavalli. Cavalli, there's an A in there, right? And it sits here on the desk amidst this butt fuck of wires because I was having a hard time deciding if I loved it or not. And I should have just loved it. I mean, it's easy to love it. Just, I love it. Throw it in the pile. I love it. Things I love. Now, it's a tube hybrid. And I've got a couple other... Well, there. that That's the other one. Near the price range. This right now is $680 on Amazon. $610 on sale on mass on mono price. And this is $710. So that's like the closest range I can get to a hybrid. Now, this is a balanced straight amp. No DAC. We'll, we'll peer at the back for a second, and I'll put down the Stellias. And there's a reason the Stellias are out. I want to point out also that this whole gaggle of things that is going on, which is this is a Gustard DAC A22. I'm going to review that. I've already reviewed the XDA TA30. Um, and this look at Platinum, obviously. Ah, everything's hot. The whole world is hot. So we've got uh, single-ended in and loop out, literally an arrow. It's very cool. You get your balanced uh, XLR inputs. And you got an input transformer. That's it for the back of it. Here's your input transformer. It is running moderately warm and 36 volt, 1.4 amp. And I wrote liquid platinum on it with my label maker. Zeos, future Zeos. Link to that Dymo label maker. It's a lifesaver. Label all your transformers, especially in my line of work. You need to know where the hell that's from when it falls on the floor. This, so power button. Power button, single-ended output, balanced output is a very, 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 very dull white LED to indicate power. Almost too dull. Like, you see my LEDs here on this laptop? Those are a little bit too bright. That's too dull. Someone please find something in the middle. Volume knob. And it's a little dot in divot indicator, and I could use that because I have a light that's fucking perfectly vertically down so I could see it. It, like, haunts it. But if you have a light that's straight back, it's going to be a little bit harder to see. And on the right here, we've got an input switch. And you can either have in or out. And it's not labeled. It just says I. Actually, the I is labeled. If go back around to the back. The I is RCA. And the not I is not... I don't know, you got to figure it out basically by unplugging one if you plug them both in at the same time. Um, wow, it got real quiet in here. What just happened? Maybe I just went deaf. I might have just lost all my hearing. That would be great. That would be great. My reviews would become mostly monitor based and I would start talking funny. When I pulled this out of the box, because the owner actually is local to me and he stopped by, and I picked it up and I went, holy shit, Monoprice makes something this nice? Like, the build quality on this is stellar. It actually should weigh more. It's not that heavy a unit. But when you look at like the way the corners line up and this is straight and then these grills, these are metal vent grills over the sides. It kind of looks like the, uh, the hood of a car I would have designed in like third grade where it's got like things sticking out the hood and then it's got vents on the side and then it's just smooth metal. Look at the bottom. Just like look. That vent on the bottom doesn't need to be that pretty, but it's that pretty. Uh, triangular, um, well I should say pyramidal shaped rubber feet and it's got this nice like wedge shape on the edge it, it really is a beautiful piece of equipment beautiful to touch beautiful to hold and you turn it on and it's you read all about it read all about it it's got a, a slow turn on function where it slowly warms up the tubes then clicks things over and then in case there's an internal short it will actually cut off your headphones so it's over six hundred dollars it should do things and alex here has made sure it does things so now how does it sound because we got to get right to that well i wasn't gonna pull anything out to compare against it except now i've got the tor roger 
which is a single-ended, full-on fuck tube amp. I've got the Exto TA30, which is a single-ended DAC-included and Bluetooth hybrid amp, which is probably the closest thing to this. And to feed this, I put pulled out just the, the Gustard, because why not? I'm also feeding it with the Gashelli Enoch 2 Pro, uh, plugged into the back, and I can switch between the two, so I could listen balanced from the Gustard. Gustard? I'm sure someone's going to say I'm saying it right. G Gustard. Gustardi. And the Gashelli. So it's Gustard and Gashelli are, are dacking into this. The headphones I've been playing around with are numerous and endless. And it got to the point where I was getting so perturbed about trying to determine if I like a better sounding on this or on the 789 or on... My seat just gave up. Or on um, the TA30. They said, fuck it, Stellias. Because, let's face it, they are one of the more expensive sets of headphones I have. And the detail is superb but with a double b so let's put these uh, french women's thighs just around my neck and let's listen um what do i got playing on perfect circle go back to sleep it's great i was playing at the beginning don't ask you didn't get to this part you just decided to zeros what was that song playing at the beginning it's a perfect circle and go back to sleep 20 minutes review 20 minute this time here we go girl got rhythm by acdc oh i'm going to lower it I'm not actually listening to it currently on it. I'm listening on the 789. Because I was going to come out of the 789, and then I was going to go into this. And actually, let's unplug the balance cable for a second. All right, problem number one. I don't understand half the words ACDC says, but I love ACDC. Single-ended, I prefer the X-Duo. That's just the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's just the way it is. What's playing currently? Oh, those are breaking in. Um... But when I switch to the balanced output, and that doesn't change the input in the back, that's just I'm either using the balanced circuitry or it's summing and giving me single-ended. Single-ended, this, this doesn't perform like this does, or that does, that's a straight tube. The other reason I pulled out the TA30 is it's not just a hybrid, it's a crazy powerful hybrid like the TA30. If we look at the numbers here for a quick sec, while I hold this precariously up in my hands. <laughs> 33 ohm load, balanced. Are you not? 33 ohm load, single-ended, a little under two watts, 1.78 watts. That's not bad. 1.78 watts is manageable. And then 56 ohms, 1.13, and then 0.45 and 0.23. This amplifier, balanced, 33 ohms, 6.62 watts. That is more powerful than the 789, and the 789 is fucking stupidly powerful. Ring a bell? This, this one I complained at 3 watts per channel. Is that like, oh, it's got the DAC built in and you can't use the volume knob past like that much or it explodes everything. So the Augustard DAC here is at negative 30 decibels. Negative 30 decibels. Well, now these are a very, very easy to drive pair of headphones. I want to point that out. And but that's the sort of deduction I have to take from the signal source to actually use this volume knob. And I have it uh, RCAing out into this and using the auxiliary in. So both of these amps are now perfectly functional. As long as you have, if you fucking two thousand dollars, go start the amp DAC. It's fine. Now, it's unfortunate I don't have the T... I do have the TA-20, but this is the benchmark I would go for with balanced tube... Well, unbalanced tube hybrid. Tube hybrid. Just tube hybrid in general. There is your fucking leader. So this is coming to fight. And this only fights properly when in balanced mode, which I have to keep checking where my wires are. 
Ooh. Sherlock Holmes, I see everything. If you don't listen to soundtracks, you really need to get on my level. Because they're made without any profit involved. Someone's been paid to make them this good. In this case, Hans Zimmer was, you might have heard of him. Okay, hold on, let me see something. Okay, I unplugged an RCA and it's out, so that means the out mode is XLR. I honestly tried to not learn what that was, because I had balance between the Gashelli and the Gustard. This was at negative four, and that was at full tilt, and then they were like equal volume, and I kept the volume low when I was bouncing back and forth between the two decks for my own pleasure. Or torture, I don't know, one of those two things is what I was doing it for. Yeah. I'm gonna raise this. There, we're back to four. All right. So now we've got probably the best case scenario DAC inputting to this balanced. And then the best case scenario balanced output to the best case scenario for headphones that'll ever fucking see is the Stelia's. And I like it. I like it. Do I $600 like it? Here's the thing. It's a hybrid. I shouldn't be using it with the most sensitive cans. I should be using all that power to tear the fuck out of like a nice hard to drive set of planars because that's what the hybrids do. But I was plugging things into it. I was plugging like my HD600s into it because if you don't plug HD600s into anything tube, I don't care if it's hybrid or unhybrid. Unhybrid. That's a new thing. From now on, amps will be classified as hybrid and unhybrid. If you don't pull, pull HD600s out and give that the go, You know what the problem is with HD600s? They sound fucking amazing on everything. Lower that down. But, r r now. <sighs> I don't know what it is. It could be these stock tubes. Because that's another thing. Those are stock tubes for the X2O. Those are stock tubes for the Tor, and these are stock tubes for the Liquid Platinum. And I'd probably re recommend swapping them out. If you have this and you're happy with it, don't watch this video. End it right now. It's a short one. It's only 20 minutes. What are we at? Like, like 11, 12 right now? Um, stop. Stop playing with it. It's, it's fine. But if you've got one and you've compared it to something else... And maybe you think it's a little bit creamier and smoother and doing more tubey things to it. The tubes might be the things at fault. So you might want to just do some research into the tubes that are available for this and buy a set. Just swap out the tubes. Just swap out the tubes. It's fine. It's not illegal. You're not admitting defeat by swapping tubes. You just have to accept the fact that, you know, personally, with my ears and my collection of headphones, and granted I haven't put every fucking single headphone on, you know how long my day would be if I had to listen to every headphone on every amp I get? Oh my god. I make, you know, educated guesses. 600s. Stellias. Maybe MMX 300s, which are right there, by the way. Just because I wanted to see if something different happened. Because those are super easy to drive, and they're closed back, and they're dynamic. Let's see what happens. Foo Fighters keeps wanting to play all day. I don't understand. I've already told Foo Fighters they recorded poorly and they should stop. There was a secret chord that David played. And he pleased the Lord. Now they're at nearly the same volume. Like, it's just... Do ya. And there's just something about the... And now keep in mind... I'm going balanced into this balanced, out of this balanced into those, and I still prefer the single-ended, single-ended, single-ended TA30. So that's it. This, this review is over. 
I think the Liquid Platinum is a very good tube amp, and I think balanced versus like like the seven eight nine, it's definitely got something going on more than a tube amp, more than a solid state amp. It's got that tubiness to it, but it ain't got enough tubiness to it. It's a very very clean and visceral. If this was the only amp you had. You should be very fucking happy with it. But if you are hunting down an actual hybrid amplifier that will take tubes and give you the power, that one of the problems with the Roger here is it's not very powerful. I run 600s on it, and it is only single-ended. You gotta max that thing out. So you're sort of at, at the mercy of whatever the tubes it's using and your source volume. And then, you know, if you get distortion, it's because you're maxing it out. And it's like, that's what... The, the, the dark voice and that are real tubes. They do real, they have real tube benefits and real tube problems. Those things come hand in hand. And what a hybrid does is it eliminates that inability to push out eight watts. That eliminates the inability to push out eight watts because that's the Solaris and that costs six grand. That's that many grand. My Corolla is worth about one and a half. Maybe, maybe one, the bumper's ripped off. And she doesn't start it. That's worth six of my Corollas. But that's what's required to get all the fucking power out of a tube. Just all of it. The other one is the um the Inspire that I reviewed. It's like 1.7, 1.8 watts per channel. In a pure tube, that's insane. The only way to get around that is to hybrid it. Put a full size, full fuck, solid state amp, and then fuck with the input with tubes. And if you do enough fucking with it with tubes, it's fine. Because then it's like, oh, it's got that richness of a tube amp, and then the power. And that's what the TA30's selling point was. That's what the, um, shit fucking phase... What? Damn it, why can't I remember the name of that damn shit amp that was a hybrid? I see, keep saying Fuller. It's not Fuller. The shit f fucking faggot fuzuzi fuzuli. The one that I said was great with planars. And only good with planars. If you need it for planars, we want to go to planars. I'll link it in the description. Zeos, link the shit hybrid tube amp that you really liked, but now that you've heard the TA30, and you know what, even this, now that I've heard this and the TA30, that one's less and less. The Freya, boom, Freya, I got it, I knew it was an F. Um, we're what, like 18, 19 minutes right now? Okay, let me wrap this up. Again, I wanna keep, I wanna try to push some more reviews out faster. One of the most nice, structured built things that monoprice has ever created period i don't know what what factory makes this but they should make their fucking headphones hey make them make your headphones i would swap the tubes if you already have one and you're a little bit bored by it if you think it's just all right it's clean and powerful it's hot it's a desk heater like it's hot like right here is like i know exactly what amplifier keep in mind the gustard also gets fucking warm so this is just like a Thank you. That's what I need is my phone just bleeping at me. Um, I'd probably still... Ow, that was hot. I brushed my finger against it. If you're looking for... The, one of the benefits of this is... Okay, yes, this is $100 more. This has Bluetooth and fiber optic in and USB. It's got a full-on DAC. And I think sounds better than this with stock tubes. But it has that volume control problem. Just like this has a volume control problem. I, I If I put this up to zero... Um, even on HD 600, let's see. And I gotta make sure I'm on. When you go from RCA into XLR, and the XLRN usually has higher voltage. And then when you go to the single ended to the balance output, it. Oh my fucking god. What? Who? Shush! The shush app! Fuck! Alright, um... I'm gonna time crunch here. What was I saying? I was saying words. And then my phone started bleeping, bleeping. Um... This. Okay. We are... The, the best volume case scenario is you're using single-ended RCA inputs. And you're using the single-ended output. So volume down and volume down. And then you have some freedom. Just like this fucking thing here, although this thing didn't even have the option for balance, so I was just dumb all the time. And the thing is, it hits a wall. I, real quick, I know I'm probably going over my 20 minute limit, 
But Lyra Lynn is playing. And Lyra Lynn, don't make me wait, is not exactly fucking mega death. It's just a pretty, you can see, you can look right down. Can you see right here, like this section here, the, the waveform? It's not exploded to the lines. It's sort of like it's relaxed. And then you put this up and it's like, oh, it's starting to raise volume. All right. And we're, we're currently here. And I'm going up. Nine o'clock. And right, right, be, right at 10 o'clock, VTech kicks in. VTech kicks in and the volume goes, it sounds like the volume is doing that. Like it's like louder, louder. And then it's almost too loud. So you get this like little area between 10 and 11 o'clock where that's it. That's from, from like, oh, it's a little bit too quiet to it's way too loud. And I don't know why it does that. It like ramps up exponentially. It's a logarithmic gain of fucking volume, and that's... So if you have really, really efficient headphones, these are still, you know, 300 ohm, you might be able to hover under that murder point. You go past that murder point, and it's like, by the way, remember this has the six watts per channel? More than six? Ah! Uh, uh. And that's at, fi that's at noon. That's at noon on a moderately, like, uh, okay, quiet song. The door is the end. That's a real quiet song. You could just hear because uh, so it's another one of those it's got volume issues now i would solve this by either getting a dac that has uh, adjustable volume even the gashelli labs here i have the volume knocked down oh, i fucking hate you knocked down from high to medium to just sort of quell it down i think it's like a six decibel drop usually i lay this thing in the uh, living room because i could walk away and do my work but no, i can't now i'm at 25 minutes and fuck it um Yes. If this didn't exist, I would have almost no other tube hybrids to compare directly to it in the price range. And this would be a winner. But that does exist. And it has a DAC. And I just like the way it sounds. So, like, I, I'm so glad I got to do this review because it meant I got to pull out the TA30. I had a reason. Zeos needs a reason to do things. He he doesn't get to enjoy his stuff on his own. He puts it all here. And he's like, oh, it's perfect. I better go do more reviews of other things and not touch any of my stuff that I enjoy playing with ever again. But now I got to take this out and listen to it. And, like, and my, it holds up. The TA30 holds up. The Liquid Platinum needs a tube swap to bring it into the fold of like, amazing. The amplifier is certainly powerful. It's a competent amplifier. There's nothing wrong with the way it sounds at all you would never point it out and go that it damn sounds like shit i think it just needs a slight tweak of the tubes or maybe these tubes are just old or maybe this tube was bad it didn't have a good day when the guy was making it but i think if the tubes were swapped and it had like three percent more ooh, i'd be in love with it so there you go that wallpaper in the description um this channel is supported by subscribestar and patreon and if you join those there's benefits five dollar tier um, first of all, you get all the wallpapers I've ever used ever. That's nice. Um, you get to be in the yard sales. Uh, a person brought me this, but if I would have purchased it, like I purchased several other items, you can just buy them from me at the end of the month, or actually the beginning of the month, first of the 10th. You put it in a random bid, it's buy and sell an auction, you win, I ship it to you, free continent to the United States, half shipping, oh actually wait, I'm not going to be able to ship to Europe. Yeah, no, that's a thing that's about to happen, is we're not going to be, actually I think I could ship out to Europe, but I can't get anything back in. So that's fine. It's great. You want to get from Europe, it's fine. Um, you get to ask me any questions you want on platform on the $5 tier. Whether it's Patreon or Subscribestar, once a week I check and I go through like 45 different questions. I did them today on live stream. The other benefit is you get to see these reviews early. Now this is not exactly a new product. This has been out there a while. But if I do review one of these and I fucking love it, you could bet your ass the 1,000 plus patrons of mine are going to buy all of them. And all of them, I mean all of them. Very rarely do I love something and it actually remains on the internet for purchase. It's just called the Zeos effect. It's like a fucking uh, Markiplier said he loves something, it's probably gone. Right? I'm not quite that sort of influence, but the audio market's smaller. So the Zeos effect is avoided by joining the $5 tier and seeing all these reviews a week early. Um, the $10 tier puts you into a private fucking Telegram chat. That's probably adding me, at Zios, did you see this? At Zios, at Zios. Now, I love those guys. There's 200 of them. They pay my rent. But um, I do have to answer them multiple times a day. And I enjoy, actually, them. I've hung out with a couple of them. People have joined me. I've, this is it. That's it. That's the behind-the-scenes VIP club at $10. 
there are higher tiers than $10, and those will be used in the future. So that when I have certain items just gathering dust in my apartment, and there's lots of dust gathering items in my apartment, you're going to be able to play with them for a limited amount of time and then pass it to the next person. We're not set up with that yet. The like equipment share or whatever, I the Z share, I haven't decided on a name yet. Name recommendations in the description. Um, when that comes into play, then like the 15 and the 30 and the 75 and the $150 tier. Well, the $100 tier, I might be too high for any of that shit. Those are for just crazy rich people. Thank you. Um, I think I have two of those, actually. They're the best. But if you want to ever try, uh, you know, Autors or Aeolus in your home, maybe they'll be in a box and you can play with them. And then send them to the next guy who'll be in a box and play with them. We have to just work out logistics. So that's it. That's my Patreon. Um, that's my subscribe star. That's everything. They both platform support everything check out hi-fi guides i would probably add this to a recommendations list there's no reason not to especially if it drops to 600 dollars on sale that's still a hundred dollars less than this if you don't need the special features of this this is still worth it it's just i like the sound of that better i just like the sound of that better i just like the build of this better this is fucking it's even got the space you can actually put something down although it would warm up a sandwich, like for shit sure. Like, mmm, warm sandwiches. Anyway, we're now at like the 31 minute mark. So I'm 11 minutes over where I wanted to be in my head. I don't have a clock on, I'm just guessing. Um, thank you for stopping by. Check out Hi-Fi Guides, the site. Check out Hi-Fi Guides, the forum. And uh, Expona has been obviously delayed till August because everyone's going to die. I recommend everyone go on the internet and find Stephen King's The Stand. Because that's really good, you know, M-O-O-N, that spells moon, is what's going to be going down. So that's it. I'll see you all tomorrow for another review and the wallpaper again. In the description, you can crop it up, put it on your phone, because that's, that's what they're there for. Waifus across the world. Waifus to help heal. Right? Right. <laughs>